Hey guys, how's it going? It's Abby here. It's a glorious spring morning. I'm slowly getting burnt by the sun as it's coming up, but you can hear the birds in the background and a little bit of rush hour traffic, but just cut that out. Um, yeah, really privileged to be here right now. And what I want to talk to you about is my recent trip to Morocco, which you may have seen from my trailer video that I released a couple of weeks ago. These are the R Evo Pro. These are the boots that I wore on my trip to Morocco, so I'm seeing some of the highest peaks in the Atlas Mountains, and I have grown to love them. So I want to tell you why I love them, and maybe why you should love them too. So let's get started. <laughs> These are B1 boots. So what does that mean, Abby? Well, B1, basically boots, shoes, outdoor equipment, is all kind of got its own special rating. You've got to get with the linguo. Um, so <laughs> B1 boots are kind of suited. They've got slightly stiffened soles, so they're pretty, pretty solid. So they're suited for your mountainous terrain and once you hit the snow you can start to put c1 crampons on these so crampons have three different ratings you got c1 c2 c3 how original um c1 flat crampons are as flexible as they get so they're kind of suitable as i say for your um once you hit the snow line kind of working through nice soft snow but i wouldn't really recommend them for ice climbing so because they're just not solid nor would i recommend recommend b1 boots for ice climbing unless you're you're pretty desperate so b1 boots now we understand what that means these boots weigh 1.4 kilograms, which is slightly heavy, um, but the thing is, they're not as expensive as some B1 boots get. So they cost 225 pounds. Ouch, I hear you say. <laughs> but it is a worthy investment, and that's why I certainly recommend trying before you buy, trying, try, trying before you buy, and shopping around. You know, try things on, see what works, see what looks good. Um, see what's comfortable and what's the best value for money and of course sales always happen so you can find things cheaper perhaps online once you've tried them in another store but as I say these are a worthy investment and if you look after them they are designed to last so these should last tens of years if you're lucky <laughs> it depends how often you use them really but yeah 225 pounds retail price 1.4 kilograms in weight so what we'll look at now is some of the features of this boot so the idea of this boot by Scarpa nice logo on the front there <laughs> is uh, basically it's designed for absolute maximum comfort, maximum support, maximum freedom of movement. So you can see the top here, this squishy orange bit that goes around the ankle. This is made of memory foam and it's got sock fit technology. So Scarpa gives everything really fancy names, but basically what this means is obviously the memory foam, just make sure it's nice and firm around your ankle, nice and supportive. The sock fit technology just means it wraps around, you've got that maximum comfort, maximum stability. And we can see here, that the tongue is actually attached by a piece of reasonably stretchy fabric to the main ankle support and the idea is you've got that complete flexibility there so that when you're bending your ankle forwards you can move and you know that your heel is going to stay in place because of the heel lock technology and you know that the top of your ankle is going to stay in place just because of the sock fit technology so you're very very support and you can have that maximum comfort when, or confidence when you're jumping around on rocks or slipping in the ice or doing whatever you're doing in the mountains so you can't go wrong there really. <laughs> it's got this little, um, what do you even call that? Hanger thing, not really. So you can get your foot on, foot, foot on, get your foot on, get your foot in and pull it through across your socks. Uh, so I just quite like that. It's nice and big. You can get your fingers in, perhaps if you've got gloves there. And then the laces, they're quite thin, but of course Scarpa are trying to keep that weight down. And then you've got eyelets, you've got the three eyelets on that side, three on that side, so six in total. Two little ones there. And then you've got one, two, three that you can wrap it around and lock it in place. So you can really make sure that boot is nice and firm and secure against your foot. If we move to the kind of front, this grey, this is suede. It's 1.8 millimetres thick. So the whole boot's covered in a Gore-Tex lining, so it's nice and waterproof. But of course, recommend you kind of reproof that after every single trip. If you're unsure how to reproof your boot, just Google it. Um, or, or I'll make a video, that would be good. Or have a chat when you're in the store buying boots, what's the best way to reproof your boot? But I'd really recommend for the care of your boot, uh, reproofing pretty much after every single trip. Just keep them nice and clean and it'll really help with the breathability and the waterproofing. So 1.8 millimeter suede, nice and light. Then we move down. This here is a big solid rubber band. Yay. <laughs> so the idea of this is uh, like um, abrasion, it stops the abrasion, it stops wear and tear against the boot, so it takes that impact. And literally, I took quite a few falls whilst I was in Morocco, but you can see if I show you the boot nice and close up, there's just like barely a scratch, still a little bit dirty, but hey, can't do everything. <laughs> 
So I really like this rubber band and it's kind of your iconic band around B1 boots. Very, very good quality. Uh, Scarpa, you can't go wrong to be fair. Then if we move down to the base, so we've got this kind of grey bit here and then we've got the black bit. So let's start in the absolute bottom. This is Vibram, you can see the kind of iconic yellow logo there. Vibram is a really well-known, um, good quality sole. So you find them on like your approach shoes, on trainers, trail running shoes, and on boots. So they're just really good designs. So they're maximum friction, maximum tension, um, so that you basically, hopefully, in theory, <laughs> you're not gonna slip. And it's hard wearing, so it's gonna last a very long time. And then you have this gray bit, which is impact absorbing. So it's got, I can't remember what they call it, active plus impact technology or something. But the idea is that basically the technology within that gray bit is gonna absorb the impact of the st and the stresses of putting your foot on the ground. So then you can use the maximum amount of energy in moving forwards rather than having that stress induced fatigue that's caused by just the constant impact of, of hiking and moving around. So I really like that. Uh, I think more and more boots are actually incorporating that into their design because it just means you can spend more time out and about because we don't really notice, but especially over long days, uh, multiple days of hiking and playing, and um, you know, you do get fatigued. You do get that stress on joints and muscles. So having that impact reducing technology or that shock absorbing technology just means that you can keep moving for that a little bit longer. And to be fair, that's basically it. So the crampons kind of can hook on the heel. There's no lip there like you find on some boots. So literally it's just kind of making sure it's nice and tied, secure. And of course you've got that um, like abrasion bit there to stop that impact, which is nice. But I just think they're a really great all rounder. As I say, they look good, they feel good, nice and wide for people with wide feet, but obviously try before you buy. And as I say, the final lining is all Gore-Tex. So pretty good quality boot, 225 pounds, check them out. So just to finish, I'm going to be releasing a kit list or a packing list um, video of everything I took to hike in the Ma Atlas Mountains in the winter. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, guys. I know it's a bit kind of all over the place, but I'm playing against the time today. Have a great one. Uh, get out in the wild, explore some new places, try some new gear and let me know how you get on. Cheers.